<laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I guess we'll start it like that. Today we have a quick and easy install on the 2020 Silverado. We have some prefabricated rock sliders that we're gonna be installing. These are the NFAB RKR rock sliders. Should be just a couple bolts and we're good to go. Let's do it. So I ordered this set from fourwheelparts.com. They shipped to me in a large box that was kind of beat up, but luckily on the inside, there was a lot of styrofoam in this plastic bubble wrap. At the end of the day, they're just rock sliders. They're gonna get beat up anyways, but let's open them up and check it out, see how they look. These have a nice powder coat on them, looking good. And it actually looks really nice. Almost don't want to scrape it up. It's going to happen though. These rock sliders are constructed using a 0.112 inch wall and a one and three quarter inch tubular steel that's treated on the inside and the outside. All that means is that these are really hardcore rock sliders and they'll handle whatever you throw at them. So each rail weighs 33.1 pounds. That's 66.2 pounds of additional weight you'll be adding to your truck but it's worth it gains bro for this install they supply all the hardware that we need and the only tools that you're going to use is a half inch socket wrench and a flathead screwdriver so the first step is just getting access to the holes where we're going to install the rock slider there's caps here and here so that's what we're going to use our flathead screwdriver and pop those out there's two in the front two in the middle and two in the back. If you aren't sure which ones to pop off, if you just take out your rock sliders and line them up, it'll all make sense. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other tabs. Now that we have access to these holes, we're gonna start with the center bracket in the center of the truck and we're gonna install the bolt on the top first. This will hold the rails in place and will make the rest of the install a breeze. Now I'm gonna go ahead and install the other three. So this is what the bracket looks like. That's the whole install. The Bolts on the bottom are a little bit difficult to reach with a socket wrench, so I had to hand tighten in mostly and then just use a traditional wrench. And then there's one, two, and three brackets. All right, let's do the same thing on the passenger side. Well, what did you guys think? Uh, comment below if you think I should actually weld those to the frame. It might not be a bad idea to just at least tack weld it on there. So for me personally, these rock sliders met two criteria. My first criteria was they needed to be made out of steel. No aluminum rock sliders, no Nerf bars. I needed steel thick armor on the side of my truck. Number two, I didn't want to lose any clearance. So these were the lowest profile rock sliders that I could find. These actually come with a step attachment that you can add two steps on each side if you want to upgrade that. For me, I just wanted to keep my clearance as high as possible. So that was my two criteria. I'm completely satisfied with it. They came with a nice black powder coat and it matches the truck perfect. I obviously will keep you guys updated, so make sure to hit the subscribe button and thumbs up if you thought this video was useful whatsoever. And don't forget, I will remind you guys as usual, get outside, stay hydrated, and keep on moving. <laughs> you caught me in a weird time. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> yeah, you caught me at a weird time. Can you come get this off of me?